All right, what's going on guys? Had to be back. Uh, it's the last time we got through the ice cave. We trained a little bit afterwards, uh, south of Blackthorn, took a while. Um, and then we took on Claire. Claire was scary, but we got through it without any casualties, which is great. Um, and then I dicked around for a little bit. I went and caught Ho, uh, who is now our turkey, which is kind of fitting since Today, we, uh, we celebrated our Thanksgiving up here in Canada. That's nice and all. Um, so, uh, yeah. The plan today is to basically do uh, do the whole route up through Victory Road, fight the rival. Um, and I'll see what the time is, but I don't really want to tackle the Elite Four all straight in one video. Um, mostly because I will probably have to go and train a little bit to make sure I am fully ready for it. Um, okay. Um, yeah. I, I was just trying to figure out what I should do with the Sacred Ash item because it basically acts like a max revive. Um, well, not just. It acts like a max revive except, like, party-wide. Um... For now, no one's dead. I think I might use it, though, in the Elite Four. Just because it might seem like a little epic, be kind of cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know. For now, let's head back to Cherry Grove. Not Cherry Grove, New Bark. I think I'm pretty good on items and equipment that I need. I, I don't think I do. I know you need for Gen 1, Gen 3 you do. Uh, Cerebi's not telling me at least. Alright Cerebi, I'm going to trust you. So I don't need Peach with us. Um, anyway, just to double check. So, um, <laughs> Peach would be able to handle Sneasel easily though. But like I said, his, his Pokemon are really really low levels for some reason compared to mine at this point where for the rest of the game I felt like I've been lagging but anywho so Turkey can handle the Sneasel Cotton could be able to handle the Golbat um, Turkey can handle the Magneton Shrimp can probably handle the Haunter Team Effort for the Kadabra and then Team Effort probably for Typhlosion maybe only Shrimp depending on what he takes against Haunter okay That seems like the plan. Throw cotton in front. All that out of the way. That took a while to set up. <laughs> I got everything I need. I didn't teach you fly yet, so I'm not ready. Right now we're just doing victory road stuff. So. Back to New Bark Town. We're two steps into it. This body of water doesn't like me. You're just taking your first steps into Kando. Check your poke gear and see. Ah, piss off. <laughs> uh, part of me's got that weird tingly feeling that I think there's a rare candy down here. I'm so smart. <laughs> I think that's three rare candies we got now. Not sure who to use them on yet, but we'll see. Part of me thinks you can also get a Moonstone in here, but I don't remember if it's this gen or the remakes. Uh, I'm already running low on Thunder Punches already. 
Yeah, I think I can ride up there and get a Moonstone, so... Not gonna be too bad. There's some nice XP right there. I will Thunder Punch you. Still really weak, though. Yeah, not sure who I would want to use it on. Um, can't really go catch a Nidoran female. That's where I got Peach. Yeah, unless I caught a Clefairy or Jigglypuff somewhere. I think the person in the house gave you a Sandstorm, so we'll grab that. Bulbasaur. We got Fire Punch for that. I'm probably going to use a PP up on Sacred Fire. Uh, once, before I start to leave 4, I'm going to do a lot of, like, PP ups and possibly rare candies. Uh, I'm going to see where PP Max are, if there's any in this game. Nope, can't get them in this gen. That kind of sucks. Um, let's see where all the PP ups are then. So I think I have like two right now. Route 15 and 45, Violet City, Tin Tower, Mount Mortar. No, that's in Crystal. I gotta pay attention to that. Ice Path. Okay, so that's it for Johto. Then there's one in Rock Tunnel, Celadon. There's one in Route 45. One in I think I got the one in Violet City. I'm, I think I got the one in Ice Path. So it would just be Route 15. No, that's Kanto region. So then one in Route 45. That's in Johto. I guess that's south of Blackthorn. Uh, but I'm not sure where it would be at. Given by Black Belt Benji. No. Well, in the middle of the pond at the south end of the route. In the middle of it? Uh, what we'll probably do is we'll, we'll take that Apra back once we get to the Pokemon League. We'll go grab that. Grab a bunch of berries as well. I want more mystery berries and stuff. Because uh, I'll be using a lot of ethers since... Stuff like that, I'm sure, once I get to the Pokemon League. Uh, especially for stuff like Synthesis and Sacred Fire. Yeah, if I only get three, um, probably want to use one. At, one on at least Synthesis and Sacred Fire. Um, then the other one, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out once we figure it out. <laughs> uh, you're a waste of time. Time and PP usage run. Cool trainer Blake with the magneton. Got fire punch for that. Oh, and earthquakes come up too. Mm -hmm. Peach, there you go. <laughs> we'll get rid of the strength and put it on Peach. Give him his killer move. That should be a level up. Nice. Waterfall bite. Nice. Alright, so. Yeah, we'll definitely have to come back then. To go back to Johto before we do the Elite Four. 
Take strength off of peach, take waterfall off of shrimp. Find pee pee up. Yeah, got a bit to do, I guess. We got our own crit. I think it was unnecessary, but anywho. Good level up. I was about to say that did more than confusion, but it's a crit. I'll say you must be close. There it is. Here's where my dilemma is. Because, <sighs> well, Hypnosis already has a super terrible accuracy to begin with. But you obviously need it if you want to use Dream Eater. Now, I want to keep Confuse Ray because it's like a near 100% accuracy confusion move. It'd be really helpful. Shadow Ball, obviously, needs stab. It's a good ghost-type attack. So... <sighs> Curse has been... 50-50 on how helpful it's been. But the 50% that it has been useful on, I think I could have done something different rather than trying to set it up. I don't think there's anything I could really use... Because you can only really in a specific fight, use it on one Pokemon. Unless you got like super lucky and got chipped down. No, not even that really. Um, I've been somewhat debating trying to give Grape like another attack. The curse is, the curse is so helpful. But from now, from this point on, I don't think it is anymore. Well, I say that, but like a, a, a flat quarter health gone from a, an opponent is big. Um, that can't be healed. Hmm. But Dream Mirror gives me sustainability. Oh, this is such a tough decision. It gives me sustainability, but with a Pokemon that has the lowest health of the entire group that can't even evolve into its final form, because I can't trade. It's not something I really do very often, but I think it'll be more helpful. I wish there was a better sleep type attack than hypnosis, but what can you do? I guess the only thing that bugs me about about Dream Eater hypnosis is I like I said, it's such a low percentage if I get really really unlucky with the RNG and I keep trying to like hip, hip, hit hypnosis, trying to get that Dream Eater proc, even though I could have just been going for Shadow Ball like, that's gonna really bug me I could try to do like conf confuse right first just to buy me some time, hopefully, but. Anywho, no use thinking on it now. We did it, so. Alright, off to find Earthquake. Alright. Might have needed the crit, but anywho. Thunder Punch. Ness.
Nice. Wearing Hydro Pump. Mm, nope. So I do not like Hydro Pump. There's the piece de resistance. Of course, I get stuck before finding it. I thought there was a path I forgot to take. It was right here. Grab that. Max revive. Cool. <laughs> so we're. We should be set. The only thing we'd have to worry about now in the Elite Four, probably, hopefully, is a uh, uh, full team wipe. That's that's probably my only obstacle with the eight max revives that I got. Let's go heal up real quick. Uh, we're gonna super repel here. Uh, we're gonna set up for this fight. So, um, kind of wish I had Peach with me. That's fine. Um, Mm. A small part of me, I mean, it's only a level 34 Sneasel. I have other options for Skull Bat. Do that. Um, Oh, you have the charcoal on. I'll probably keep that on. You're probably going to get hit by Sneasel before anything. You got magnets. You got the amulet coin. Um, Ember flame wheel quick attack. Thunder wave, thunder shock. Who would I use? Probably use cotton on his magneton. Haunter. Hauntrop probably should just use Shrimp. But I want him to have his Mystic Water back on. Give you that. I'm gonna give Turkey the experience share. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, Turkey will take on Sneasel. Cotton can deal with the Golbat and his Magneton. Uh, Shrimp can probably handle Haunter, I'm hoping. Kadabra, I'll send Lettuce out. And then Shrimp can handle his Typhlosion. Let's save real quick. Okay. I'm not quite as nervous for this fight, but can't let my guard down. I am severely overleveled compared to him, for once, like I said. Like, even my lowest level Pokemon is higher than his highest. But, yeah. I feel good for this one. <laughs> Sneasel. Go, oh, Sacred Fire. Screech is pointless. Could even just send out Turkey against his Kadabra. Things even go remotely slightly bad, I could just use Recover. Bull Bat will send in Cotton. Don't flinch, please. You make this a pain in the butt, aren't you? Come on, cotton. Thank you. Nice. Magneton. Um, I'm gonna swap you out. Just because I don't like your you being confused. Let's 
Sacred Fire. Nice. Haunter will send in Shrimp. Kind of hoping that he uses Curse. Use Curse or Mean Look, then he's done for. There's the Curse. You're dead. <laughs> Dabra, then send back in Turkey, might as well. Sacred Fire, that's fine. I say that's fine, but that's actually kind of annoying. Um, it shouldn't really affect shrimp that bad, so do that. No oh, typhlosion. dodge. Alright. Easy peasy. Nothing to that fight. I don't even think he did damage. See you later, Taco. It'll be a while before I see you again. Alright, so. Thanks for help, Belgian. You kind of did nothing. <laughs> uh, we'll take back Peach. Do I have a treat for you? heal real quick. And then we'll take the Abra back and then we'll have to go to Blackthorn first. Actually pretty much everything is in Blackthorn that I need so. Yes please. This Aerodactyl is going to be a problem. Everyone has Hyper Beam for some reason, though. Um, I definitely do need to train a little bit more. Um, like the rest of the Elite Four, it's ugh, definitely not really much of a problem other than maybe Karen's Houndoom. Uh, pretty much everyone's signature is going to be a problem. That and Bruno's Hitmonlee, because that's going to give me War Flashbacks! I will probably have to train for a little bit. Um, let's teach everyone their moves first while we think on it. Yeah, I thought Turkey can learn it. Um, lettuce can learn it too. Wow. Lettuce is really surprising me this run. Um, no, we're going to teach it to Peach. Les has Mud Slap. It's important. <laughs> um, we'll double check this, but I don't think you can learn it. No. I wish you could. I would like to have a Poison type move on you. Um, teach Surf. 
shrimp. I don't think there's anything else I should teach anyone other than Dragon Breath. I guess there's, it's, there's really more to think about with Dragon Breath than just simply do I need it for the Dragonites. Um, I could use it as just like a secured move to use other than Sacred Fire. Um, cause, I mean, Peach knows Ice Punch so he can deal with the thunder, that's the only problem, is the same thing I had to deal with with Claire. Just trying to figure out which Dragonites are which. He won't, he wouldn't use his ace until the very end. So I wouldn't have to worry about the fire blast one. Anywho. Uh, I think everyone's set on that end at least. Now, we're going to take a small little trip down here. Because I want to see if I can find this PP up. I'm going to pop Super Repel. I don't feel like fighting any anything down here. Oh, it's still under effect. Okay. Just stick to pure right. Pop another one. It's in the middle of this lake. There it is. Cool. We'll grab all the berries that we maybe not. Uh, no, we're just gonna drop the X special because I don't want to bike all the way back down. Toss. We'll fly to Goldenrod. We'll grab the mystery berry from there. Fourteen. So I think it's like twenty-four right now. I didn't think you would have gained much. Keep growing strong, my babies. Never know when I might need a call for you. Okay, so, uh, streaming wise, yeah, this is going to be a shorter video, it's not really long at all. In terms of YouTube seeing this, this will probably also be fairly short, not a whole lot really happened, but I kind of wanted to cut it here before I actually did the Elite Four, guys, I'm probably going to let them play out in their entirety, so they might be longer, um, what I'll probably do is split it up between, um, uh, I'll do Will Will and Koga first and I'll do Bruno and Karen and then I'll do Lance last um, hopefully I'll make it through um, yeah like I said the only thing that's probably going to be an issue because of my max revive clause and I am going to stick with the sacred ash as a thing as well just because it kind of keeps in line with the lore of the item sort of so I will use Sacred Ash in the event that like I need to revive like a, <laughs> a mass load of Pokemon all at once. But um, yeah, so the only thing I have to worry about really I think is uh, just a total team wipe. But uh, yeah. So I am going to grind a little bit, make sure my Pokemon are much better prepared uh, than what they are. Because while I was over leveled for the rival, and fairly decent with the rest of the Elite Four. Lance is definitely going to be the problem. So, that's the plan. I'm going to level up off screen. I'm going to do all my PP ups and all the stuff that I need to do to fully prep. I'll do that off stream. Just so that next time when we start, we just go right in to fight the Elite Four. So, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later.